fast planes, speedy cars and high-performance motorcycles can be intriguing and exciting for some people when it comes to transportation. However, in one province of Cambodia, an old, slow and traditional way of travel has attracted so many tourists domestically and from other parts of the world. So why some people still prefer the former over the latter? To find out more, please enjoy the following video. At almost 300 kilometers away from the capital city Phnom Penh, this northwestern province of Batambong has a distinct vibe of recreational tourism activity, which is quite unique from any other provinces in Cambodia. Despite its architectural landscape, associated with the colonial French design of Indochina as well as much older historical landmarks, domestic and international tourists who make their way up until this point have always used the opportunity to try experiencing a less modern yet exciting way of transportation called bamboo train. The name bamboo train is very obviously of course derived from the English-speaking community. For the locals who live in this area, this mode of getting from point A to point B is much more often referred to as Greha or flying bed, since the bamboo platform clearly resembles that of a traditional bamboo bed in countryside Cambodia. Bamboo train is a improvised machine. It is assembled from four metal wheels powered by a small machine and rolled on top of a rail track. Before the name bamboo train was popularized, people who live near the train stations along the first railroad between Phnom Penh and Poi Pait, as well as the second railroad between Phnom Penh and Sihanoukville, used to also call this transportation machine as lorry, which is a French word. Apart from its function as a tourist magnet, Lorry is also used by the railroad technicians as they perform their routine maintenance. At the beginning, there were two types of bamboo train, a manual type and a mechanized type. Between the decades of 1980s and 1990s, people living close to the rail track spent much of their time transporting themselves and their goods using bamboo trains. Beginning from the year 2000, Foreign travelers began finding this transportation interesting, especially within the Batambong province. In the Old Dambong station and the Old Sralai station, we can witness a lot of tourists hopping on these improvised trains as they zoom past the green countryside landscape on either side. Carrying capacity of foreign tourists cannot exceed four passengers per bamboo train, as this railroad only carries one track. In order to sustain an opposite directional travel, a bamboo train operator from one direction has to disassemble the train in order to make way for the other side. So that begs a question. Whose and what direction is prioritized when this scenario happens? The rule is simple. A series of bamboo trains with a higher number of trains get to stay on the track, as a series of a smaller number of trains has to be disassembled. Furthermore, the front member of the prioritized series has to help disassemble the train to the side of the track. In return, the last member of the same prioritized series has to help reassemble the train back on the track. A mechanized bamboo train with 4 to 5 people on board can reach a speed up to 25 km per hour. Currently, as industrial trains are taken back online, bamboo train owners from these communities have to respect the schedules of those larger trains. The local people simply have to wait until the trains completely pass by or until the train reaches their last hour of operation.